Hi, this is Bill Carmody with an overview of Species Counterpoint, a way to write two parts together. And the second part is called a counterpoint. The first part, the given part, is called the cantus firmus. And the cantus firmus is written only in whole notes. And the uh, counterpoint, uh, depending on which level you are, the starts off with uh, first species, which also uses only whole notes. And then we go to half notes and quarter notes and syncopation. And finally, flooring counterpoint, which is uses a mixture of different rhythms. The main thing is the, to know which intervals are consonant and dissonant. The perfect consonant intervals are 1, 5, and 8. The imperfect are major, minor, thirds, and six. The dissonant intervals are perfect fourth seconds and sevenths and all augmented and diminished intervals. At the end of the counterpoint, at the end of the example that you're writing, you want it to end up on a modal cadence. So with Dorian mode, uh, you have to raise the next to the last note so that you have a half step away from the last note, the tonic. And with Phrygian mode, the, uh, the Phrygian leading tone, that's what PLT, Phrygian leading tone, is already a half step above the final or the last note of the mode and there are already half steps in Lydian and Ionian modes but you have to use accidentals for Mixolydian, Aeolian and Dorian modes. The kind of uh, variety of motion you want to mix it up so that it keeps it interesting you can have contrary motion where if the cantus firmus goes down, the, the, the counterpoint will go up, or vice versa. Parallel motion, where the, the cantus firmus and the counterpoint both go in the same direction by the same amount. Similar motion, they both go in the same direction, but by different amount. And oblique motion is when one of the parts stays static or repeats the same note uh, or is tied over and the other part moves. So we're going to be writing uh, these five species of counterpoint. In first species, when you have whole note against whole note, uh, first write the cantus firmus, that's a given part, and then you start with either a perfect fifth or a perfect octave, and then jump right to the cadence at the very end because you want to use one of those cadence formulas, and then go back and fill in the other notes um, using a mixture of motions, parallel, similar, contrary, and oblique. In second species, you're going to use two half notes against each one of the whole notes in the cantus firmus. And you, the first measure can start with a half rest, or you can start right on beat one. The uh, cadence formulas are a little bit different because they use half notes, although you may use uh, first species cadence formulas in second species counterpoint. In second species you can also have dissonant notes. So those dissonant notes uh, can only be on the second beat or the second half of the measure. On the first beat of each measure it has to be consonant and the only kind of dissonance that you can use in second species is passing tones. You cannot leap to or from a dissonance in any of these examples. Third species where you have quarter notes. Uh, the first note of each measure again has to be consonant and at least two, uh, one of the last two notes has to be a consonant. It can, the other one can be a passing tone or a neighboring tone. You have those options as well. Fourth species uses uh, a half rest at the beginning and uh, then you tie the, the note that you have on the, the, the half note uh, over the bar line and it becomes a dissonance. This is an example or an exercise in writing suspensions and resolving the suspensions. The suspensions uh, can be a 7-6, 4-3, or 2-3. That is that the first beat of the tied measure 
is a dissonance and it can be a seventh, a fourth, or a second, and then it resolves by step down to a consonance. Fifth species, you can begin with a half rest uh, and end with a four species formula. In fifth species, you're going to alternate between the second, third, and fourth species counterpoints. Don't use one species more than a couple of measures because you want to mix it up. And in fifth species, uh, you may use eighth notes as an embellishment. So if you have two passing tones or two eighth notes as neighboring tones or in a cadence after a suspension, the da da da, you have those options. Here's your homework, and it uses the same candus firmus that were used in those examples, and you are to provide your own counterpoint to that. Uh, formula, make your paper look like this in that you leave the first staff blank and then you leave a blank staff between the uh, examples of species counterpoint. I put them on a single line, but you, if you want to space it out further, you can take more than one line to, uh, to do your counterpoint. And that's the whole show. Enjoy. Bye-bye.